Hi, Ken1171 Designs here, and in this video, I'm going to show you a new tool I am developing called the Lock Master for Poser 12. So, what does it do? You know those things you wanted to do with poses where you apply a pose from a library where you didn't want it to affect certain parts of the body? That's mainly what this could be used for. So, let's go for a demonstration. Here is Lockmaster, it's a very small, simple tool. And let's do some uh, tests here with Hive Wire Down. Um, let's apply a pose, for example, jumping one, this one. And uh, let's say I want, uh, I want to make a new pose where she's running a marathon or something, and when she crosses the finish line, she has her hands like this, but of course she cannot be running with the feet like that. So we select, um, let's say I want to select anything from the colors all the way to the hands. So um, the action is going to be lock, and I want me and children, which means whatever I have selected and all the children, to be uh, locked. Uh, when I do that, it changes changes the preview mode to uh, to show wireframes, so I know what's locked and what's not. I want to do the same thing to the other arm, and when I do that, I can apply, let's say, a running pose like this one, and you'll see the hands stay as they are; they're not affected by the pose. I can apply other poses like this one or. Mm, this one, actually any pose, and uh, the hands will stay where they are. Once I'm done with the pose, I can unfreeze. I have to change action to unlock, and then select the part I want to unlock and choose me and children. Same thing for the other. So uh, here you have an idea of what locking can do. If I apply a pose now, you'll see that uh, everything is affected. Um, let's do another example. Like, for example, I have this pose where I like, hey, I like this arm here. Like, uh, if I freeze it here, oh, I have to choose the action to lock and then freeze everything from here uh, down the tree. And now I can apply other poses where the hand stays in the, sh in the, uh, in the waist. Uh, of course, you may need to do some adjusting for every pose, but you get the idea. I can have many poses and preserve some parts of it, which means I can now do very easily create new poses based on poses you already have. And let's see, for example, uh, let's unlock this arm. And uh, there are times where you you like a certain pose, for example, uh, this hand pose here, where I want to freeze only the fingers. And that would be the case where I choose the action to be lock and children, not me and children, just children, which means uh, don't freeze the hand, but only the fingers. So if I click here on children, that's exactly what happens. So now I can apply other poses and uh, the fingers will stay where, uh, in this pose which can be useful if you want to have variations of poses where the hand is on uh, the waist. Um, let's unlock it. And uh, what if I want to make uh, different kinds of uh, freezing? Like, for example, from abdomen 2, I want to freeze everything above it. So I'm going to choose lock children. But I don't want the head to be frozen. So what I do is I select, for example, the neck and unfreeze me plus children. And for example, if I don't want the arm or I don't want uh, this particular arm, I select the color and unlock only that one. So that's how you can make very specific combinations of uh, uh, actor locking uh, using the tools you, you have here. And um, if you have something like this, for example, and you want to unlock uh, everything, an easier way is to choose the action unlock and then click everything. So 
no matter what you have selected, it's going to be unfrozen. And that's what I wanted to show you. Thank you.